I'm going to take D.C. by storm with uh, upstate South Carolina values. He has shown that he can be the loudest voice in the room, and that's about it. Tonight, the fight for the fourth. Two lawmakers in the race for the Republican nomination, backed by President Trump, Congressman William Timmons seeking re-election, and the chair of the state's Freedom Caucus, Representative Adam Morgan, his challenger. I actually represent the people. Got to make sure that the voters know the truth, not just the way that he's phrasing things. In just weeks, on June 11th, primary voters from Greenville to Greer to Duncan and Spartanburg will decide between the two. I'm looking forward to just choose someone to run our country and trust us, and be able to trust him. If you want to have a society that you like and enjoy, then go vote. Congressman Timmons or State Representative Adam Morgan, who will take on the Democratic nominee? The 4th District, you decide. You're watching Fox Carolina News. You decide. The 4th District Republican Congressional Debate. Good evening and welcome to the Fox Carolina 4th Congressional Primary Debate. I'm Justin Doria alongside me as guest moderator and upstate political podcaster Joey Hudson. And now, let's meet the candidates. First elected to Congress in 2018, Congressman William Timmons is now seeking a fourth term in office. And his challenger is State Representative Adam Morgan. He's Representative District 20 in Greenville County since 2018. Gentlemen, the rules of this debate are simple. You were given the rules and guidelines one week ago, but for the benefit of voters at home, we want to make sure that your platforms are showcased. So each candidate will have 90 seconds to answer our questions. If a candidate says his opponent's name or makes a reference to his opponent, then a 30 second rebuttal will be allowed. And if it happens again, there will be another 30 second response time. When you arrive this evening, a coin flip decided who will go first for opening statements. Congressman Timmons, you won that coin flip, so you have 90 seconds for your opening statements. Go ahead. Thank you. And Joey and Justin, thank you so much for being here and thank Fox Carolina for putting this on. Our country's off track. Nine, nine and a half million illegal immigrants have crossed the southern border in the last three and a half years. Inflation's through the roof, denying millions of Americans the dream of home ownership. And we have $35 trillion in debt and we're adding a trillion dollars to our debt every hundred days. We need experienced leaders in Washington. I've been a prosecutor in the upstate for five years. I've started a number of small business businesses. They've all been successful. I currently serve as a captain in the South Carolina Air National Guard. I'm actually one of five members of Congress that still serves in both Congress and the Guard or the Reserves. And I have shown that I vote conservative and that I can be effective. I've passed four bills into law in the last five and a half years while serving in the minority and in divided government. And because of my record in Washington, Donald Trump has endorsed my candidacy. He needs people in Congress that are able to push his America First agenda and help get our country back on track. We are running out of time. We have to make a change soon. I will fight to preserve the American dream for generations to come. Thank you. Representative Morgan, you have 90 seconds for your opening statement. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in and letting us in your homes tonight. You know, I believe that this next election is possibly the most important election in our lifetimes. Everywhere we look today, we see a country in decline. And it is squarely because of Joe Biden and his disastrous policies. And because of a weakness in both parties to deal with the pressing issues of our time. Our border is wide open. There's an invasion occurring on our watch. And nobody seems to be doing anything about it. Inflation is at an all-time high, and families can barely afford groceries and afford gas. We have to do something. We have to do something serious. And now more than ever, we have to elect conservative fighters who know their values and will fight for those values every single day in Congress. About six years ago, I decided to step up to the plate and run for state representative in Taylor's and Greenville East Side. And I knocked on 4,000 doors and made a lot of promises that I was going to go down and I was going to fight against the good old boys and I was going to shake things up and I was going to fight for our common sense values. Well, I kept those promises and I went down and I started the most robust conservative movement in South Carolina history, the South Carolina Freedom Caucus. We have fought on every issue that matters to conservatives in South Carolina. And when I got there, we were one of the most liberal Republican controlled states in the country. And now we are winning on every issue. We're banning pediatric transgender surgeries. We're getting indoctrination out of schools. We're getting budget transparency. We're working on judicial reform. All these issues because conservatives stood up and fought. I will do that in Congress.
Gentlemen, thank you so much. We have a lot to get to in this next hour. So when we come back, we dive into the topics, border, economy, and even questions from you, the voters. We cover it all, and we'll be back after this.